back to my channel. This is Prepping My Faith. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about all of the things that we, we constantly hear in the prepping community. We hear it um, in the Christian community. We are hearing it a lot. So we are hearing all of these things about, you know, this person is fake or, you know, all I hear is, you know, this, this channel brings doom. This channel brings fear. This is something that I hear constantly um, when I am looking through other people's videos um, in the comments section. I hear it a lot, even coming out of fellow content creators' mouths. We get in the habit of really examining other people and other channels, and we are always saying things like this, right? So I've even caught myself saying it. I'm not pointing the finger at anyone in particular. I'm saying as a whole, this is something that we say is, you know, I'm more solutions based than this channel or that. I try not to name names. That's not something that I do on my channel, but I'm actually starting to see um, a trend in the community. Um, and what's interesting too sometimes, when you really start examining this, and this is why I wanna bring this up, I think it's so important that we bring this up, right? We want, instead of to be so divided, we want to be coming together um, as a community, as a whole. And if we're doing these things where we are sort of dividing and segregating ourselves even, then we are not bringing the message across that we need to about the reasoning behind everyone being so prepared, why we think it's important and critical that everyone is prepared. And it really starts to put a sour note on the preparedness community. And I think this is something that we need to be focusing on, that we need to be more aware of what we're doing. What's funny to me are these titles that people are putting out and they say that, you know, I'm done with the prepping community or this or that, or I'm done because of this, or, you know, this, this channel is a fake or I'm, these people are fake. When you put titles out like that, and then it's funny that you go and you say things like, I'm tired of this person because they create clickbait titles. Well, what did you just create yourself? Let's look at that. Let's think about that for a minute. Did you yourself not just create a clickbait title because you knew that title was going to draw people's eyes? It was going to draw the attention, right? And I also want to get away from using that phrase, I'm solutions based. You know, I even, <laughs> I even said it recently. And then I thought about that and I'm like, what does that even mean? You know, so it's almost like humble bragging. And I don't even think that we realize that we're doing it. I don't want to be a humble bragger. That's not something that, that I want to do, right? So we need to figure out a way of bringing the community more together rather than creating more division. And, you know, we can have certain opinions, right? We can have things that we think, but I think, at the end of the day, coming out and saying those things repeatedly, everybody's already heard this a million times and everybody has their own personal opinions on the matter and their take on this too. So just saying this repetitively over and over and over again, what is that really doing? Is that really, you know, having the effect that you want it to? People are still going to click on those titles. People are still going to watch those videos. And all you're doing is, you know, trying to make a case for yourself, you know, well, I should have more views or I should, you know, this because I'm doing this, right? And that still has pride attached to it. Whether you realize you're doing it or not, it's a pride statement and we need to move away from that and I really really dislike the whole you know this person's fake or that one's fake I'm seeing that a lot too in the Christian community and in the prepping community so you're fake because you did this or you're fake because that or I'm gonna drop your name if I notice that you know you call me out specifically and say whatever I don't believe in doing that and especially as a Christian we should not be trying to seek revenge of any sort right and using our platform to put those kinds of things out there and really try to seek revenge on another channel is just really wrong right you know we are supposed to turn the other cheek we are supposed to speak the truth in love and there's no love coming behind those kinds of statements so we really need to if we put our focus on what we're doing no one should care about what anyone else is doing you know if they're doing something wrong or a message isn't coming across right at the end of the day that's going to end up biting them in the behind if they're you know constantly doing that 
But on the other hand, if what they're doing is still garnering all these views, they still have a huge audience, maybe we need to really, you know, start thinking about why that is too and stop making excuses for ourselves why our message isn't getting out there um, as much as we would like it to. Are they still bringing anything? Are they still bringing help to the community? That's what you need to ask yourself at the end of the day. Maybe it isn't for you and that's okay if it isn't for you, but maybe it's for somebody else, right? And maybe somebody else who isn't as far along in their preparedness. And that's another thing. We're all at different levels in the preparedness community. And so sometimes as content creators, when we're bringing you guys stuff, it may be stuff that you've heard before, or it may be stuff that, you know, isn't as relatable to where you're at and that's fine but you need to understand that we're trying to reach an entire group of people and we're trying to reach people too that don't know anything about preparedness so some of this stuff may come across as very basic but we have to include all groups especially if we are trying to draw more people into the preparedness community that is our goal right so we've got to try to hit all levels and it's also very hard to do in a short amount of time we don't have a lot of time to get a message across because you guys click on and you click off so quickly. So we're trying to hit that sweet spot, that target, and it's very difficult to get that information across in a short window. So a lot of these other channels, when they're putting stuff out there, they're creating a headline to draw the eye and it works, right? I mean, if it didn't work, they wouldn't be doing it. And you can tell by the view, the view count, the views that they're getting off of these videos. So it's something that, you know, I think to each their own, right? Here's where I'm at with it. Let's not be concerned about what everyone else is doing. Let's be concerned about what we're doing. And I think what we need to understand in the preparedness community is that there is a lot of us out here, right? And we're trying to bring a message across. We're trying to draw people's eye. We're trying to get them to click on that thumbnail. So I want us to examine why channels are doing what they're doing. You know, we assume that they have ulterior ulterior motives. We assume that they are doing things because they are trying to induce fear or they are trying to, you know, just get clicks. But what we need to do is really start examining why we have to operate a certain way as content creators. One, there's a lot of competition out there, right? So we as a content creator, our first impression is going to be that thumbnail. If we don't put an attractive enough title on there, if there isn't an attractive of enough message, a strong enough message coming across, then people are not going to click on it. And I have witnessed this in my own thumbnails, in my own titles. Um, so a certain title may be phrased a certain way, but what is the message behind it when you click on that? And that's what I think we need to be focusing on, not what other people are doing or how they're doing it. Um, we need to be more concerned about what we're doing, what we're sharing, are the message that we are trying to bring and respond with, you know? And so I think there is a balance to be had there. This is one of those things that, you know, I just put out a video recently where I was talking about, you know, we can go off on one side of the ditch or we can go off on the other, but it's still the same ditch. So at the end of the day, we have to be careful that we are not being, you know, extremists in our thinking too and thinking that we've got everything all figured out. We're a hundred percent squared away. We're right and you're wrong, you know? And I think that, you know, as long as the viewer themselves is getting something out of a channel, then you know what, let, let it just be, let it be, let that person be who they are and you worry about who you are and what you are trying to share um, and what message you want to bring. Because at the end of the day, if somebody is getting something out of a video, whether that is a piece of information, whether that is something to help them in furthering their preparedness, whether that is somebody presenting a product, no one is forcing anyone to purchase those products. They are just sharing information with you. You have a choice whether or not you click on that link and purchase that product or not. No one's saying you have to buy this. And I think people need to understand that, right? A lot of these channels, they have made a business out of their channel, yes, but is there anything wrong with that? So I just want us to start thinking about these things. I want us to really start considering the communities as a whole and being more concerned about what we're doing and pointing the finger right back at ourselves rather than turning it around at other people in the community. So just some food for thought. I hope this video has helped you guys gain a different perspective on the doom and the gloom and the fear that everybody says is out there and the fakes. Um, so if you guys have enjoyed this video, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.